from a station working for you. This is a WRTV update. And I'm Lauren Casey. These are your latest headlines. Ivy Tech is set to open its new automotive technology center this fall. It's located off Century Plaza Road on the northwest side of Indianapolis. The $14 million facility includes nine labs, 16 classrooms, and other state-of-the-art facilities. Right now, nearly 300 students are enrolled in Ivy Tech's automotive technology program. The school hopes to double that with this new center. Community Health Network is giving some employees a raise starting July 12th. Minimum wage will go from $12.50 an hour to $15 an hour. Community says the planned increase will impact more than 4,000 workers. Leaders say compensation is an important part of recruiting and retaining a talented and caring workforce. Wages at IU Health Campuses statewide increased back in April, you may remember. Around 4,800 employees received a $1 raise, increasing their pay to $14 an hour. Employees who were already making $14 an hour went up to $15.49 an hour. Pre uh, preparations are underway right now for the 2022 college football championship game. That'll be held at Lucas Oil Stadium Monday, January 10th, 2022. With seven months to go until the big day, a lot of moving parts are already coming together. More than 60 staffers, contractors, and vendors are all meeting in the city this week. When Indianapolis hosts the biggest sporting event, the festivities go beyond just game day. Organizers say they want uh, to top other host cities for that event. We do want to take a look at our forecast for today right now with Todd Klaus and Hey Todd. Yeah, more of the same as far as temperatures go, Lauren. We're going into the low to mid 80s across uh, the area with the warmer temperatures to the north where your rain chances are lower here throughout the day today where your rain chances are a little bit higher. That's where temperatures are in the low 80s. Everybody though and deals with very, very muggy conditions. As far as the storms that I mentioned, they're very isolated today. They're not as widespread as they have been, which is good news and most of them should be south and east of Indianapolis. No severe weather, but a quick downpour or two is possible this afternoon and into the evening hours. Rain chances are even lower as we head into the day tomorrow and as a result, temperatures are a little bit warmer, very, very warm tomorrow with a high of 88 degrees. Todd, thanks for more stories and weather you need to know. Download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.